Anya and I have been living on the French Riviera for so long. We know our way around, we speak French, kind of. But getting from A to B by public transport? Honestly, that reminds kind of a struggle. It is possible though, especially if you're based in Nice. You can get almost everywhere by train or by bus. You just have to know how. And that's what we're gonna show you today. We'll start with the easiest, but not the cheapest way. There's a ticket called Pass Sud Azur for tourists. Before we show you how to buy it, take a look at what the Pass Sud Azur is all about. So for tourists, there are three formulas that make the most sense. You can get a pass for three days, for seven days or for 14 days. And you can travel all over our department, which is called Alpes Maritime, and even all the way to Monaco. Very handy. And you can use all means of transportation. That's trains, buses, and even the tram streetcars. And you can use as many trains and buses and trams as you like. So the three-day pass is 35 euros per person. For seven days, you pay 50 euros per person. And for 14 days, it's 80 euros per person. The ticket is kind of expensive, but if you want to see many cities, it just makes your life so much easier. You can buy the ticket in all of the bigger cities, usually in the branch office of the local bus network. In Nice, there's a ticket center just opposite the main train station. And two more are at Boulevard du Bouchage and at Parc Phoenix. Unfortunately, you can't buy the ticket in advance online, but the very convenient thing is you can buy it at every vending machine in Nice. And they are all over the place. At every tram station in Nice, you'll find a vending machine. And now we'd like to know, can we even get this ticket at the airport? Surprise, surprise! They do have the pass suit as you're here at the airport. At the same time, these tourist passes are the only tickets you can buy at the airport vending machines. Apart from a 10 euro ticket that takes you to the city center and back. Which, by the way, is almost a scam, as we've shown you in this video. So now that you have your ticket, you're going to want to know how to get from A to B. And we actually like to use the app Move It. And let's say we want to go to Grasse. And say we're based in Nice. The app tells you exactly what buses to take, how to get to the bus station, how much time in between you have. And it's really convenient and really easy to use. If you want to spend less than what you pay for one of the tourist passes, or if you don't plan to leave Nice at all, here's what we suggest you do to get around. Nice's local transport network is called Ligne d'Azur. Three tram lines and 144 bus lines take you all over the 51 municipalities that belong to the metropolitan area of Nice. All of the beige area, number four, you can explore with the Ligne d'Azur ticket for 1.70 euro. And even top spots like Es Village, Villefranche and even Vence are included. You need one of the colorful rechargeable cards. Some are pink, others are blue, green or orange and one is as good as the other. The easiest way to get your card is at a vending machine at one of the tram stations. Choose English and there's many different options for tickets, 10 tri trips, one trip, two trips and so forth. Single trip is 1 euro 70 and if you don't have a card already you have to buy the thing that's called consigne and you spend 3 euro 70 for your first trip. If you already have a card you can recharge it. To top it up at the vending machine you stick your card into the red case Choose however many trips you want to buy, and this time for one trip you only pay 1 euro 70. If you buy your card on a bus, you'll be charged 4 euros for the card itself and for the first trip. There's a little service fee included. And you also need to know that on a bus you can only pay with coins, whereas the vending machines also accept credit cards. Good to know is also that your partner or family don't need an extra card. If there's four of you taking a bus or tram, 
you just swipe your card four times for validation. So let's see if the machine knows how much money is left on the card. And if you're totally lost, they even have a hotline that you can call. And they speak English, of course, and you could ask any question that comes to your mind concerning your ticket or destinations, wherever you want to go to. Ligne d'Azur also has two apps that are very handy. If you speak French, you need Ligne d'Azur ticket to recharge your card. And the one called Ligne d'Azur mobile is for everything concerning your itinerary and all kinds of information that you might need. Many of you have asked us how to get to Es Village, this the cute perched village, and we'll show you on the app of Ligne d'Azur mobile. Do partez-vous? You put where you're gonna start. Let's say we start in Nice, Place Masséna, and we're going to Es Village. It's really important to put village as well because you want to land at the perched village and not down by the sea, otherwise you'd have to climb up. And this app really nicely shows you the way and it takes you all the way to cute little ass. By the way, all the cards we've mentioned can be recharged and the card alone costs two euros, which will be refunded when returned in one of the branch offices. There is no way to return the card at the airport which is not very customer friendly, we think. But if you come back to Nice, you can keep using the card then. In that case, remember to leave a journey on it, which can take you to your hotel for just 1 euro 70 when you're back. If you want to travel between any of the cities along the coast, say Cannes, Antibes, Nice, Monaco or Menton, the easiest and quickest way is to take the train, although not the cheapest. You can get your tickets at the train station, like right here in Nice. Or you book them online at home, on the website or via app on your phone. Go to SNCF Connect. If everything pops up in French, you scroll down to the very bottom almost, and here you'll find your language. And if you want to have English, it's going to be Europe. There we go. A very common trip would be to go from Nice to Monaco, for example. And that costs for your 90. And there's also an app, SNCF Connect, which is very convenient because it also speaks English. And if you're three persons or even more, the app automatically applies a mini group fare, which gets a lot cheaper. Like for three people, you would just pay 10 euro 50. Now, if you want to leave Nice, the surrounding places and the coast, there's another transport network that comes into play, Zoo. So say you want to go from Nice to Antibes and not take the train. That means you're going to be changing transport networks, which makes things more complicated. The zoo buses take you from one city to another and they operate in the entire Paca region, circled in blue. A simple zoo bus ticket is currently 2 euros 10. But if you're changing networks, like hop from a Ligne d'Azur bus in the Nice metropolitan area on a zoo bus that takes you to Antibes, you need a so-called ticket Azur for 2 euros 50, which allows you to switch trams and buses several times if necessary. The easiest way to get a ticket Azur in Nice is, once again, at one of the vending machines at a tram station. The tricky part is you can't buy the return ticket in Nice. So if we said we were going to Antibes, you would have to get your return ticket in Antibes. The easiest way would be to buy it directly with a bus driver. Are you all confused now? We can assure you, it sounds more complicated than it is. You'll get there. Thanks for watching. We mentioned Monaco several times during our film as a possible destination you'd like to go to. And you know what? We got a film. We made a film about it. And you can watch it right here if you click on this one. <laughs>